I still don't know what exactly happened or why. It took place a few years ago, in 2013. I was home alone. Although my parents went out often, and I usually stayed home by myself and played video games, I never really felt alone. My friend Thomas lived right next door, and if you looked out my bedroom window, which was on the second floor, you could see right into his. It was awesome. We played video games together online most of the time, and the night it happened was no different. It was Saturday, and with my parents gone, I had planned to play video games all night. We were in the middle of a match when Thomas told me he would be right back. That was normal, of course, but after 10 minutes, I stood up and looked out my window. Right then, I saw him walk back into his bedroom and put his headset back on. I asked him what took so long, and he said that he thought he heard his back door open and then close. I asked if his parents were home, and he said no, that he was home alone too. We went back to playing, when about 30 minutes later, I heard something downstairs, in my house. It was really late at this time, and Thomas said he was going to bed. I turned off my console and walked out of my bedroom to go downstairs. I stopped halfway down the stairs. I could see the faint shadow of someone sitting in the chair in the living room. They were facing away from me. I was about to speak out, but then realized it wasn't my mom or my dad. I went back up the stairs as slowly and silently as I possibly could, never taking my eyes off the person. When I reached the top, I silently moved back into my bedroom a few feet away. I grabbed my cell phone and hit the green messaging icon on the screen. At that moment, I heard footsteps coming up the stairs. Completely terrified, I got in my bed and pulled the covers over my head, hoping and praying whoever it was would think nobody was home. I tried to lay as flat as possible and control my breathing. I heard nothing after that. I stayed under the covers without moving for a long time. I felt like someone was watching me. I eventually pulled my cell phone up and texted my parents. I didn't get the immediate response that I wanted, so I decided to text Thomas. I typed one word and then heard the hardwood floor in my bedroom creak. I froze. You have no idea how bad I wanted to look to see if someone was standing in my bedroom, but at the same time, too terrified to do it. I ended up laying there under the covers for at least an hour before finally getting a text. I was scared to move, but a minute later, I opened it. It was from Thomas. I felt all the blood rush out of my face, and I started to shake. The text read, Who is that in your bedroom? I ripped the covers off my head out of pure adrenaline and fear. There was nobody there. Our guest. 